presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to use video countdowns like those from CMG Pro Countdowns with Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. One of the things that I hear people asking from time to time is how to use video countdowns with ProPresenter 7. Well, it could be that that comes from not knowing that ProPresenter itself can do countdowns with a built-in feature. I've got a tutorial on how to use that, of course, so I'm going to link that down below the video. Otherwise, Maybe you have a very good reason why you want to use a video countdown. Maybe you like the, the dynamic background. Maybe you also like the way that the countdown is formatted, like some of those over at Church Motion Graphics. So I thought I would show you how to do that if that's what you're in the mood for. So let's head over to my computer. If I can find the appropriate button. Okay, head over to my computer and take a look. So here we are, and uh, I'm going to start by saying that this is the one that I'm dealing with right now, is the Paint Sweep Silver Pro Countdown Timer. Now, this is a, a paid download uh, from Church Motion Graphics, but if you make your own, just make it similarly, and we'll go from there. So let's imagine that we want... First off, not to see me in this. That's a little distracting. We want to have a background like this one as a background for our timer. And we've got a transparent background. So what we can do is we can uh, create a prop that has that. So I go over to More, go to Props Editor, and the first thing I'd do is click on this little plus button up here. And then I would have uh, an empty prop. So right there, let's call this full screen count down, if I can spell. And now what I need to do is I want to actually add the countdown. So I'm going to click this big plus and go to media and navigate to where this is. In this case, I know that I put it in my downloads. Notice it says ProRes 4444. This is a Mac codec. Codec is the instruction set that tells uh, the computer how to compress and decompress the video. So it's a Mac codec that includes transparency. There are other codecs that would work for this, some that work better with Windows, but uh, the ones here from CMG are Pro Rules 4444, so I know they'll work on my Mac. So I'm going to click Open. I've already done this, so I'm just going to say Use Existing, and we'll notice that this is full screen. First thing that I would want to do is click over here to Inspector, and go to Properties, and make sure this is not set to Loop, but to Stop. Now. I've got another decision to make. Do I want to stop on the last frame? I happen to know that it ends on a transparent frame with absolutely nothing in it. So I could just leave hold last frame. Or I could clear after the last frame. It didn't do that. You know, let's say it stopped on at zero zero zero. I could just change this to clear after last frame. And uh, that would work as well. So now that I've got that set up, I can add that into any slide that I want. Let me show you one other thing. I've also created one ahead of time. And um, let me make myself go away here real quick. This one, I just basically took that same thing and I squished it down to the lower right hand corner to make like a picture in picture. So that would be a way that you could do it if. The countdown you're using has a um, background to it, is you can just squish it and make it a little picture in picture. Either way, so now we go back to show, and the obvious way to do this is to go into props 
and select the prop that you want. So that is this one, and you notice that it's just going along. So I can um, make that go away just as easily, or I could use uh, the other one if I wanted to. Notice it's in the lower right hand corner and make that go away the same way. I could also, so I could also add a, an action to a slide. So we right click and we go in to add actions and then action palette. Scroll down once this shows up and we have interactive action. So prop would be the one that I want. I'm going to drag that onto whatever slide and I got that out of the way so I need to actually edit action prop. So I don't want it to be prop number one. I want it to be the full screen prop instead. So I'm going to click done on that. Move this out. And when I do that, you'll notice that that shows back up. And I can, if I had multiple slides underneath that, I could go between those. Like, you know, if I had a background like this, or I had this picture of these people, or this road, you know, whatever slide I had up, the countdown will continue on because. In ProPresenter, it is based on layers, and the props layer is above both the announcements layer and the slides layer. So when the slides change, the props would the prop would stay static and stay the same. So that's a cool way that you can do that in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, which is exclusively available if you go to dm.fyi slash pro seven quick. Just go there and you can uh, register for a free login and I'll register you for the course that you can take at your leisure. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com, churchtechu.com, reminding you to go out and change eternity.